just one more week after today until the end of the regular season of semi-professional football in the East Coast Football League. Welcome to Rockville High School in Vernon, Connecticut this Saturday, August 13th, 2022. A beautiful Saturday afternoon. It's a little overcast, not humid at all. We have a matchup in the Coast Division. The Connecticut Thundercats come in with a 4-2 and two record versus the Windsor Flyers with a record of five wins and one loss. The Thundercats are still battling suspension, so they'll be shorthanded at once again. They come in with a having lost their last two games in a row, but that's why they play the games, folks. It should be a great one. If you're watching on YouTube, please give a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to see more games like this. I'll do my best not to miss any action, but it, Time for talk is over. Let's get to the game. It's the Connecticut Thundercats versus Windsor Flyers coming up next. All right, looks like the Windsor Flyers are kicking off. The Connecticut Thundercats will receive the opening kickoff. I think. I forgot what I said at the captain's handshake meeting, but the Connecticut Thundercats will be kicking off to the Windsor Flyers. So the Windsor Flyers will be getting the, receiving the opening kickoff to start the game. The Connecticut Thundercats are coming off a two-game losing streak. They're four wins and two losses. They also have players still serving suspension from an incident after the Haverhill Hitman game. Windsor Flyers come in with a record of five wins and one loss. This is an East Coast Conference, I'm sorry, an East Coast Football League Coast Division matchup. Only one week left after today with playoffs, basically playing for uh, playoff seedings. And here we go Thundercats versus Flyers. Hey, 
Nice tackle by number 26. Tripped him up. And there is Connecticut Thundercat owner and coach LB William Gerald. LB. He suited up last week versus the Rhodey Ravens. It looks like he is not suited up today. He's, he's come a long way with his Connecticut Thundercats. Two years ago, they won only one game. Last year, they won the championship. So they're, they're the defending single A Coast Division champions with a record of four and two. But unfortunately, he's going to be understaffed and undermanned. Uh, key running backs, the, Mar the Dobbs brothers, Markel and Trayon Dobbs, I don't believe are going to be playing this game. Just to name a few. That's James D. Benedetto with a complete pass to number 80 to start the game. Barry, I think. Back just ran over the defender. Oh, they're going to call back though, holding on the offense. That's James D. Benedetto. He finds his receiver for a touchdown. And just like that, on the opening drive, the Flyers score a touchdown and lead 6-0. False start on the offense. That touchdown went to was caught by Dexter Berry. Dexter Berry with the catch, the touchdown catch from James D. Benedetto. Two-point conversion is no good. Okay, so the Flyers score on their opening drive. Opening possession, they lead 6-0. Kicking off to the Thundercats. That was running back Derek Reels. Derek Reels who ran over that defender during that drive. Unfortunately for him, it was called back on the holding. But the very next play was the touchdown pass from Di Benedetto to Barry. Hey, 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 hey,
Pass was intended for Hall of Fame Justin Lopez. Gonna bring up a fourth down in about seven, I think. Looks like Anthony Esposito back to punt for the Thundercats. Pass immediately tackled by number five, I want to say. Yeah, number five for a loss, tackle for a loss. That's James D. Benedetto pass to Sylvia. Let's bring up third down and short. That was Charles Pearson. Charles Pearson, number five. 
who had a tackle for a loss and the screen passed a play before that. I think it's going to be false start. We'll see. No, they're going to call offside on the Thundercats. And that's going to be an automatic first down for the Flyers. Hand off to Derek Reels. He's going to get tackled for a loss in the backfield. Just overthrown. be an unsportsmanlike penalty coming in at the end of that play. Probably offsetting there. I don't know, but there there's an unsports like it looked like he may have given a sideline warning to the Flyers too. Windsor Flyers have it first down and ten from the fourteen yard line. <laughs> Hand off to Derek Reels. Going to drive it forward for about four yards to about the 10 yard line. Sports play conduct penalty called against the Thundercats. It's going to be first down and goal for the Flyers. Incomplete pass, second down and goal from the six yard line.
That's Derek Reels who gets awfully close to the goal line. Flag comes in. They're gonna pick up the flag. No, no flag. Looks like third down and goal from the one yard line. Did he get in? Waiting for a call if he did. That's Derek Reels trying to finish it off and I don't see a signal. Looks like we've got, no, he didn't get in. Fourth down and goal from the one. Inches away. You can't get the ball much closer than this. It's, it's just got to break the plane for it to be a touchdown. If that's a false start, that's going to be huge, and it is. False start on the Flyers. Wow. So instead of fourth and goal at the one, it's going to be fourth and goal from the six. Fake handoff. And a pass number five for a touchdown, six yard touchdown pass, James D. Benedetto. is no good but a six yard touchdown pass from James D. Benedetto to Jaquan Richardson juice gives the Flyers a 12 to nothing lead there he is Jaquan Richardson juice with a touchdown catch Booming kick, holy smokes. It's gonna be a touch back. So the Connecticut Thundercats will have possession for the second time this game. It's the Windsor Flyers 12, the Thundercats 0. We're still in the first quarter. There's James D. Benedetto, number 19 for the Windsor Flyers with two touchdown passes this game already. Quarterback's going to keep it, I think.
We got Eric Jones Jr. in at quarterback for the Thundercats. Eric Jones Jr. Is that intercepted? I thought it was caught at first by Hall of Fame Justin Lopez. But I think Jake Vaughn just intercepted the ball. Juice. Well, he just caught a touchdown. Now we've got an interception. Jake Vaughn, Juice. Took that away from Hall of Fame Justin Lopez. Jaquan Juice Richardson already has a touchdown, now an interception. Flyers will look to add to their 12-0 lead. Hand off to Derek Reels. He's going to lose yards. You got to give the Windsor Flyers program a lot of credit. The organization. They did not win a single game in the regular season a year ago as the New England Flyers. That's a one-handed catch. By Sylvia, number 12. Now as I was saying, the Flyers, as the New England Flyers a year ago, didn't win a single game in the regular season. They've rebranded themselves and done one heck of a job. They have five wins and only one loss this year. Number 12 is Jake Sylvia. Jake Sylvia with that one-handed catch, that last play. Hand off to Derek Reels. Picks up some good positive yards there for the Flyers. They're moving the marker, so that should be a first down. Well, that's the end of the quarter. Okay, we've reached the end of the first quarter. It's the Windsor Flyers 12 and the Connecticut Thundercats 0. And it is first down and 10 for the Flyers from the Thundercat 36 yard line to start the second quarter. Hand off to Derek Reels. Stiff arms his way for a few more yards. Gets down to about the 29 yard line. Eight yard gain, be second down and two. Well, call it a six yard gain, six yard gain, second down and about four. Delay gain called on the offense, back him up five yards. It'll be second down and about 11.
Big time play, big pass from James D. Benedetto to number 81. Looks like he takes it down to about the one or two yard line. Looks like they mark it down at the three yard line. It'll be first and goal flyers from the three yard line. About a 32 yard pass from D. Benedetto to 81. Great blocking for Derek Reels, and he just walks right into the end zone for a touchdown. Derek Reels, three yard touchdown run for the Flyers. And the Flyers are pouring it on now, it's 18 nothing. Boy, how bad are the Thundercats missing Markel Dobbs, or Trayon Dobbs, and, and a few others I assume. Two-point conversion is good. Flyers now lead 20 to nothing. Windsor Flyers 20 and the Connecticut Thundercats zero. I think Lester Maldonado from the Northeast Bulls, I think he said on the Connecticut uh, podcast, the Connecticut Locker Room podcast hosted by Kevin Gonzalez, I think Lester Maldonado predicted a 30 to nothing or 34 to nothing win, a 30 point win maybe. He might be, he might have been uh, onto something here. Windsor Flyers 20, Connecticut Thundercats zero. We are in the second quarter. Thundercats have trouble handling the kickoff, and Shaw is right there to greet him with a tackle. It'll be first and ten for the Thundercats. And that's going to be a delay of game on the Thundercats. First down and 15 coming up. I believe there's offsetting sideline warnings on both teams. Number five. Jaquan Juice Richardson on the Flyers. Another whistle. Thank <laughs> you. 
That might be the first completion by the Thundercats in the last five quarters that I can count. I'm not sure they had a reception or a completion last week at the Rhodey Ravens. And I don't know if they had one in the first quarter, so that's a completion for the Thundercats. And it looks like two in a row. That one goes to Hall of Fame Justin Lopez. I don't know where Jamar Rock is. I don't know if Jamar Rock's playing today. I haven't seen him. Another catch from shotgun formation. And that's Eric Jones Jr. going to run with it. I think that was on full down. It's, you get uh, enough for a first down. It's a little screen pass number 13 and the Thundercats have found their passing game all of a sudden. Number 13 for the Thundercats is Ismael Soto. Ismael Soto out of Bridgeport who's made a couple of catches this drive already for the Thundercats. Jones Jr. is going to get dropped for a sack by number 65, I think it is. Johnson. <laughs> 65 is Troy Johnson. Troy Johnson with the sack, the last play for the Flyers. Timeout called by the Flyers. Third down for the Thundercats from their own 42 yard line. It's going to fall incomplete. Fourth down coming up for the Thundercats. Fourth down and ten for the Thundercats. Looks like they're going to punt it away. Looks like Anthony Esposito back to punt. He's going to run it. He's going to come up about four or five yards short. So it's going to be a turnover on downs. I don't know if he meant to do that. It was a bad low snap. Maybe he. Maybe that's what they wanted to do. I don't know. 
it was a good effort, but the Flyers are going to take over first and ten inside uh, the, inside uh, Thundercat in Thundercat territory. Turnover on downs. Looks like they're at the Thundercat 48 yard line. Maybe 49. So the Flyers will take over from the Thundercat 48 yard line, first and 10. Flyers lead 20 to nothing. We are in the second quarter. Flyers want to pass interference. Looks like the flag did come in. Defensive pass interference on the Thundercats. Should be an automatic first down for the Flyers. That's a 35-yard touchdown pass from James D. Benedetto to Dexter Berry. And the Flyers can't miss. It's 26-0. Flyers lead 26-0 on a 35-yard bomb from James D. Benedetto to Dexter Berry. I believe that's Berry's second touchdown of the game. I'm telling you right now, this is not your last year's Flyers team. Not even close. And to be honest with you, I know there's Thundercats serving suspensions, but I'm not even sure, that, and this is no disrespect to the Dobbs brothers, but I'm not sure they would have made this any much of a difference from what I can tell. This Flyers team is dominant on offense, defense, special teams. He stretched and he was good. He got the stretch in the uh, in the end zone for the two-point conversion. And the Flyers are putting on a clinic. It's 28 to nothing. The word's still in the second quarter. Windsor Flyers 28, Thundercats 0. That's Jake Sylvia with the two-point conversion there. Catch. James D. Benedetto to Jake Sylvia for the conversion. And the Flyers are putting on a clinic. It's 28 nothing. That's Brandon Cooper giving congratulations there. Also Juice, Juice Richardson to James B, James D. Benedetto. LB and his Thundercats have their work cut out for him now. It is the uh, Windsor Flyers 28, Connecticut Thundercats zero. We are in the second quarter. Oh yeah, yeah, hold the ball right I would do the same thing I do now. And it looks like Jake Sylvia is kicking off for the Flyers. Oh, 
Incomplete pass, second down and ten for Thundercats. It's going to be offsides on the defense, so it'll be first down and five for the Thundercats. LB head coach and owner of the Thundercats, LB William Gerald, had his Thundercats rolling at four wins and zero losses, but with losses to the Haverhill Hitmen, and unfortunately some suspensions that took place after that game. And then last week, that was two weeks ago, last week they lost to the Rhodey Ravens in a game in which they kind of dominated on offense they lost a heartbreaker 7-6, to six, a defensive battle, and they got their work cut out for them, trailing 28-0 here in the second quarter. So the Thundercats could be really reeling if they continue to lose this game and go 4-3. And, three. and uh, going to next week, the final regular season week with a 4-3 and three record and a three-game losing streak. But hopefully they should get their suspended players back. So I wouldn't put too much stock into what's happening to the Thundercats at this time. They're still a very, very dangerous team. It looks like we got a timeout in the field. It looks like it's going to be on this side and the Flyers, he jumped, unless he was drawn offside, we'll see. It's going to be offside in the Flyers. That should be an automatic first down. For the Thundercats. Boy, Eric Jones Jr. does a great job of faking me out with those handoffs. That's Lorenzo Catlett, number 28 for the Thundercats. Lorenzo Catlett out of Bridgeport, Connecticut, picking up positive yards for the Thundercats there. Completion from Eric Jones Jr. Who is that? Number 13. Oh, um. Yeah, I said his name earlier and I forgot. Oh my god. That was a completion to Ismael Soto. Ismael Soto just a moment ago. That was Chris Pagano on the handoff, the last play, Chris Pagano.
Eric Jones Jr. throws at the last minute is nearly intercepted by number 16 of the Flyers. I think there might be a flag down. <laughs> I fucking hated it. I hated it. <laughs> but David was like, yeah, I get you down there if you want to come. I can't buy a ticket in a week. Like, I got a ticket on the Why wouldn't I go? Right that was just really dope. It was high over here. Oh, personal foul roughing the quarterback. But that's declined because there's a pass interference on the a defensive pass interference on the Flyers, which will be accepted. So, two penalties against the Flyers on that play, and it'll be first down for the Thundercats. This is the best field position all game so far for the Thundercats. First down and 10 from the Flyers 14 yard line. Hand off to Anthony Espin Espinoza. My apologies, Anthony Esposito. Esposito is number 34 for the Thundercats. My apologies, Anthony. Anthony Esposito. I may have been calling you Espinoza all game. I, it is hard for me to remember these names and all these teams. And I go to so many games and so many players, I apologize. It's Esposito. It is crucial, absolutely crucial, for the Thundercats to get in the end zone before halftime. That will not help. It's a delayed game on the Thundercats. Jones Jr. loses the ball and it's scooped up by the Flyers. I'm telling you, when it rains, it pours for the Thundercats. Number 72 with the fumble recovery. And halftime should be right around the corner here. That's A.J. Daniels. A.J. Daniels with the fumble recovery for the Flyers. A.J. Daniels. And I believe I heard we were at the two minute, two minute mark of the second quarter. Two minutes until halftime. Got a 26 yard pass from James D. Benedetto to Jaquan Juice Richardson. Uh, first down and 10 for the Flyers inside Thundercat territory. Uh, right at the 50 yard line, midfield. I believe that was intended for Dexter. Barry is going to fall incomplete, second and ten. Incomplete, intended for Dexter Barry. Looks like Dexter Barry says it's my fault. Come on. 
Another loon completion from James D. Benedetto, number 16. Number 16 is Michael Elzey. Michael Elzey out of Killingly with the catch there. Timeout called by the Flyers. That was a 27-yard pass and completion from Di Benedetto to Michael Elzey a second ago. And that's going to fall incomplete, intended for Jaquan Juice Richardson. Flyers trying to score one more time before halftime here. They already lead 28 0. That's a completion inside the 10 yard line to Juice Richardson, Jaquan Juice Richardson from Di Benedetto. It looks like it's going to be first down and goal from the. Well, first and 10. It's called first and 10 at the 11 yard line. Flyers lead 28 0. We've got to be close to the end of the first half, trying to score another touchdown. Boy, that was nearly intercepted. By number 25, I think, for the Thundercats. <laughs> Looks like Ed Frazier is in the game there, number one. He had a big defensive play in the first quarter, I believe. It's caught. Is it a touchdown? Did he get it? It is! So chalk up another touchdown and the Flyers continue to put on the clinic. That's a 11-yard uh, touchdown, we'll call 11-yard touchdown pass from James D. Benedetto to Michael Elzey out of Killingly. Unless it's a flag down. Did I miss that? I think there's a flag down. Oh, uh, they're calling holding. My bad. I missed it. So that's uh, they called holding on the offense. So they're going to read no touchdown. Take the points off the board, and it'll replay second down. I think yeah, second down from the 21 yard line now. So it's second and 20. False start on the offense. That'll be second down and 26. I'm sorry, second down and 25. Second down and 25 from the 26 yard line. No problem for James D. Benedetto and the Flyers. A 26 yard touchdown pass from D. Benedetto, number 81. And D. Benedetto's got four touchdown passes in the first half to three different receivers. Barry Richardson, and I gotta get the name for number 81. That's Seamus McGrath. Seamus McGrath with a touchdown catch there. 26 yard touchdown catch from Boo Benedetto. Seamus McGrath. And the two point conversion falls incomplete. But I believe the Flyers will go into halftime with a 34 to nothing lead. James D. Benedetto, four touchdown passes in the first half. Two to Barry, one to Juice Richardson, and one to Seamus McGrath. 
We've got a Derek Reels rushing touchdown. And the Flyers lead 34-0. And we're still not at halftime. First half, second quarter. That's John Tay Rock with the kickoff return. The Thundercats. This has to be one of the longest two minutes or quarters that I've been, that I've seen here. We're still in the second quarter. The Windsor Flyers lead 34 to nothing. And we're not even at halftime yet. And it was two minute warning about 10 minutes ago, it seems like. Eric Jones Jr. back at quarterback. Thundercats will need to come back for the ages here, trailing 34 0. We're still in the second quarter. That's a wounded duck. It's going to fall incomplete. Looked like he was probably hit as he threw. And I think we finally reached halftime. All right, looks like we finally reached halftime. James D. Benedetto of the Flyers with four touchdown passes to three different receivers. A Derek Reels rushing touchdown. The Flyers lead 34 to nothing. Windsor Flyers 34, Connecticut Thundercats zero. All right, Jake Sylvia ready to kick off for the Flyers to start the second half. Connecticut Thundercats will receive the second half kickoff here. That was returned by Ismael Soto. Ismael Soto from the Thundercat player number 13. Thank you. 
Eric Jones Jr. in shotgun formation for the Thundercats. First play from scrimmage to start the second half. Handoff goes nowhere. That's going to be a loss. Tackle for a loss. By number 90 of the Flyers. A little tackle for a loss by Chet Kubetin. Chet Kubetin out of Springfield. Number 90 for the Flyers, Chet Kubetin. I apologize if I'm mispronouncing your name. I'm doing the best I can. It's an incomplete pass. Brings up third down and long. Third and about 12. going to be picked off by number four for the Flyers. Eric Jones Jr. throwing deep and it's intercepted. <laughs> the interception was made by Ronell Hopkins. Ronell Hopkins out of Danbury. <laughs> Derek Reels with the carry, picks up about two or three. Great defensive play by number four, the Thundercats, pass deflection. Holding, on, being called on the offense, it's going to be accepted, so they're going to back him up, replay the down. Number four for the Thundercats is Jayon Booker. Jayon Booker out of Stratford. A nice defensive play there. Number 55 for the Thundercats shaking up on the plates. Third down for the Flyers coming up third and very long. Dibetta Dedo floats it up there for Jake Sylvia. 
but he's going to be short of a first down. It's going to bring up fourth down for the Flyers. Looks like fourth and under about seven or eight. The Flyers are going to go for it here. What do they got to lose? They're up 34 nothing. Oh, what a catch! Dexter Berry with an amazing catch, leaped up high for that. Oh, uh, looks like it may be coming back though. Or is it? Got a. It's against the Thundercats, so it's a personal foul face mask called on the Thundercats. So it's going to tack on some more yards at the end of that play for the Flyers. I'm telling you, when it rains, it absolutely pours right now for the Thundercats. They can do absolutely no right, it seems like. And this is my first time really getting a look at the Flyers in person, and they look impressive. <laughs> and that's an understatement. They look very impressive on offense, defense, special teams. That's a touchdown, number 43 takes it in. Uh, might be a penalty though. <laughs> Illegal block in the back on the offense, so they are going to bring it back. That was Anthony Rose on the carry. Anthony Rose, he's listed as a linebacker out of Ledyard, who got that touchdown taken away. Anthony Rose, listed as a linebacker out of Ledyard. Unfortunately, unfortunately it will not count. Illegal block in the back. Looks like Ray Patton Jr. in there with the tackle for the Thundercats. Another great defensive play by number four for the Thundercats. Jayon Booker, Jayon Booker out of Stratford. That's uh, another pass deflection defensive play there. One of the few bright spots for the Thundercats this game. That's Derek Reels trying to turn the corner. The penalty on the flyer is going to be coming back.
Third down and 12 coming up for the Flyers from the Thundercat 35 yard line, third and 12. Oh, Deep Benedetto had a wide open receiver. Seamus McGrath, I believe. Seamus McGrath was open, but he overthrew him. Should bring up fourth down and 12. Here we go, fourth down and 12 from the Thundercat 35 yard line. And a flag comes in, is almost intercepted. Number five. Looks like the penalty is going to go against the Thundercats. <laughs> yep, holding on the defense. But that's not enough for a first. Going to be fourth down and about two. Ten yard penalty, fourth down and two coming up for the Flyers. They got to move that down marker 10 yards. There it goes. Looks like a free play for the Flyers, and it's going to go for a 23-yard touchdown pass. If it holds up, James D. Benedetto finds Dexter Berry for the third time today. I would like Unless they call false start. Nope, it's uh, offside on the defense. The penalty is declined. It's going to be a touchdown, a 23-yard touchdown pass from James D. Benedetto to Dexter Berry. They hooked up for the third time today. And the fly... <laughs> And the Flyers are continuing to put on a clinic, and they now lead 40 to nothing. And we're only in the third quarter, 40 to nothing, third quarter. I've been dying to go. I've been dying to go. I want to know if you're going to be here. She was like, yeah, I'm The two-point conversion is good. D. Benedetto to 87. And the score is 42 to nothing. The Windsor Flyers lead the Connecticut Thundercats 42 to nothing. And we're still in the third quarter. Eighty-seven is Derek Marlowe. Derek Marlowe out of Springfield with a two-point conversion catch. And the Windsor Flyers lead 42 to nothing. We are in the third quarter. Windsor Flyers 42, Connecticut Thundercats 0. That's John Tay Rock with the kickoff return for the Thundercats. Yeah. 
and I was like, look, hear me out. What am I gonna teach Corey to kick? And if Corey can kick every single extra point, step that he did, there's no one that he's like, no. I'm like, why not? Why, why no? Oh, look at Again, I make, I felt like I made 95% of the I don't want to blame my shoulder, but I get that like, my balance kind of off, but like, I don't know. I know, it has to be on that, right? But no, I don't know. I don't know if Percy Gladding's in the game at all today. Percy Gladding's number 21, I mean 27. And I haven't seen him. I don't think he's playing. That is another interception for the Flyers. That's the second one of the day from Jaquan Juice Richardson. He's got a touchdown catch and two interceptions. And the highlight reel continues. <laughs> oh, they found Tez TV camera. <laughs> Take a bow, young man. Two interceptions and a touchdown today. All right, Flyers take over first and 10 midfield. Uh, let's mark it the Thundercat 49 yard line. Let's have got a new quarterback in for the Flyers. So James D. Benedetto game is day is probably done with five touchdown passes in the game through th in, in three quarters of play. So that's Marvin Kelly in a quarterback now for the Flyers. Marvin Kelly out of Springfield. Springfield, Mass, I gotta believe. Michael Elzey picking up the bulk of the carries here at running back for the Flyers. Michael Elzey out of Stratford. I take that back. Michael Elzey out of Killingly. I got that right earlier in the game, but it, uh, I got confused with somebody else, I think, for the Thundercats. Michael Elzey out of Killingly. And Marvin Kelly in a quarterback for the Flyers. Marvin Kelly out of Springfield. It's going to be a false start on the offense. Back him up five yards. Dexter Berry is now running the 
the down marker. They're going to call that a completion by Marlowe, who had a two point conversion earlier in the game. Derek Marlowe with the catch. It's not enough for a first down, though. Fourth down and about two. He's still on his feet inside the five yard line. The three, maybe the two yard line. They're going to say forward progress. Oh, wait. Oh, did he fumble the ball? I think they're going to call him down at the three yard line. And that takes us to the end of the third quarter. The Windsor Flyers 42, the Connecticut Thundercats 0. Alright, we start the first play in the fourth quarter. It's first and goal from the three yard line for the Flyers. It's a handoff to Ronell Hopkins out of Danbury, who is just short of the goal line. It'll bring up second and goal from the one. Quarterback Marvin Kelly is going to keep it himself and score. Marvin Kelly out of Springfield. And the Flyers now lead, gosh, I'm losing track, 48 to nothing, I think. 48 to nothing, extra point still pending. Marvin Kelly hit as he throws and he completes it to Derek Marlowe, the tight end for the Flyers. And I think we've reached the half century mark. It's 50 to nothing. Windsor Flyers 50, 5 0, and the Connecticut Thundercats 0, uh, zero yeah. 50 to nothing. This is not your last year's Flyers team, folks. Not even close. You know, very few organizations actually get it right. I would definitely say the Windsor Flyers, who were the New England Flyers a year ago, definitely on the right track. The Northeast Bulls, I would definitely rank up there right next to the Flyers in terms of doing it right. I'm sure there's others too. The 
and even the Thundercats take take nothing away from uh, what LB's done with this program over the last couple of years. You know, winning one game two years ago to winning the championship last year. They're the defending champs. You know, granted they are missing players due to suspension. They'll be back, but I'm sure LB William Gerald, the owner coach of the Thundercats, would love to burn this tape. That's Ismail Soto with the kickoff return again. Ismail Soto. Little screen pass to Anthony Esposito. Not much going there for the Thundercats. Second down. <laughs> Off the fingertips of number three, Chris Pagano. Third down for the Thundercats. That's a handoff to Jeremiah Faust. Jeremiah Faust, uh, number 21. Not much going there for the Thundercats. Fourth down and long. It's like fourth down and about 13, maybe 14. Dexter Berry's got to change that down marker to fourth down. Pretty sure it's fourth down. Yep. Come on, Dexter, you gotta get it right. You're fired. Just kidding. And that's another interception. Is that Ronell Hopkins? I believe that's Ronell Hopkins out of Danbury with the interception. Derek! Derek! You throw you waving the towel? an offensive penalty that play is coming back for the Flyers hey, 
Timeout called by the Flyers. Timeout. It had just dawned on me what the crowd and the players were all cheering for. That's OB, Obadiah Wiltsey Jr., listed at 5 5 out of Windsor, who had the carry, but it was called back on the last play. Let's see if they go to him again. Fake to him. Oh, Marvin Kelly just took a shot. That might have been a busted play. Maybe I think OB was supposed to get that ball. Yep. I just heard one of the somebody on the flyer sideline said he was supposed to get that play. Let's see if they go back to him again. We're in the fourth quarter. The Flyers lead the Thundercats 50 to nothing. Little screen pass. That was a screen pass to Xavier Sanchez for the Flyers. Sa Xavier Sanchez. Marvin Kelly back under center in the shotgun formation. A little inside handoff goes for a couple. That was Kevin Shaw on the carry. Kevin Shaw on the carry in the last play. It's fourth down and very long. Fourth and about 15. Windsor Flyers continue to lead here in the fourth quarter. 50. That's 5-0 to 0. That's uh, Derek Marlowe in the back. Oh, Derek Marlowe's going to punt. So it looks like the Flyers are going to punt for the first time in this game. So he gets off a really good punt here. It's going to be downed at the Thundercat 31-yard line. We're in the fourth quarter. Windsor Flyers 50 and the Connecticut Thundercats 0. Coming to you from Rockville High School in Vernon, Connecticut on Saturday afternoon, August 13th, 2022. Oh, John Tay Rock is going to get sacked for a big loss there. Kevin Shaw looks like he might be hurt. No, maybe not. That's a good sign. That's another interception. A flag comes in at the end of the play. It's an interception by number six of the Flyers. Oh, <laughs> 
It's a personal foul called on the Flyers. I believe it's going to be after the interception though, so they will maintain position. And that interception was made by Chris Poteet. Chris Poteet out of Groton. I've lost track how many interceptions they've had this game. Maybe four or five. Who the heck knows. It's an inside handoff to Michael Elsie it looks like. He's going to get tackled for a loss by number eight. Of the Thunder Cats. Sawyer Nicholas is number eight. Sawyer Nicholas had a tremble with the tackle there. Tackle for a loss for the Thundercats. One of the very few highlights, I guess you can say. One of the few bright spots for the Thundercats this game. Marvin Kelly back to pass again. It's going to fall incomplete. And there's an interception by the Thundercats. I think that's Chris Pagano. So Chris Pagano with an interception on the last play of the game. One of the very few bright spots, if, you know, for the Thundercats, I guess you can say, in an otherwise lopsided game where the Windsor Flyers will win this game 50 to nothing and get a standing ovation, a much deserved standing ovation from this crowd. And they were treated to a highlight clinic tonight, or today. Windsor Flyers will move to six and one and the Connecticut Thundercats have lost their third in a row and fall to four and three. The final from Rockville High School in Vernon, Connecticut on August 13th, 2022. The Windsor Flyers 50 and the Connecticut Thundercats zero.
Yeah. He won't tell us because he's not looking for number 60. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Okay, I'm joined by Windsor Flyers quarterback James D. Benedetto and wide receiver Dexter Berry. Guys, what? D. Benedetto, one, two, three. I lost track. How many touchdowns? Five touchdowns, Five I believe it was. Can you guys put into perspective? I mean, I couldn't find any 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 flaws in your game. Were there any? So I think obviously each week we get better. Um, the one thing I will say is this week we we prepped. I would say the best we've ever prepped this week, um, and it showed on the field, especially on offense. Um, a lot of times, offense our offense is pretty good uh, going up and down the field on most teams, but they got one of the best defenses and they won it last year. So we kind of put a lot of extra film take in this week and found some holes. So. And uh, Dex, three of those touchdowns, three of the five were to this guy right here, Dexter Berry. Dexter, what can you tell me about your all-round game today? Uh, have you had a game like this before? I have. He does have. He does it all. I tell everybody, it's not me, it's him. Like, but I mean, he puts me in position where I gotta be, you know, and he puts the ball where it's gonna, where it's gotta be. It's pretty simple as that. Like, I just do, I just come out here and do what I can every week. So, guys, I was at the. Thundercat Rody Ravens game last week, and I mentioned, and then I mentioned this game too. That they're battling suspensions. I don't take nothing away from the Dobbs yeah. brothers who didn't play today, but I mean honestly, I don't think that would have made a difference with you. No, and I will say the Dobbs brothers are really good, especially he, like I know Markel is like one of the best backs in the league. Um, but I mean at the end of the day, you can only play with who shows up. So like I know we were missing people too. Like our, one of our running backs wasn't here, who's one of the dominant Josh. Yeah. I mean we at the end of the day, you can only play with who shows up. We show up pretty good consistently. Um, and then, like I said, we're clicking really well. Our defense is clicking really well. Our offense is clicking really well. So, I'm going to help because I have really good chemistry with a lot of these guys. Uh, guys, there's one more week, one more week in the regular season, I believe, next week. Uh, was this a statement game? Do you guys feel like you made a statement uh, as moving in as the playoffs loom ahead? Yeah, of course. So, I think personally, um, a lot of people, um, like, not blame this, but a lot of people took the Rebels game we played. The Rebels were a physical team. They're a really good team. And we played them in a close game. You know, we've only won by a score against them. But that was the game we played it here. It was like 110 degrees out. Um, I personally was off for a whole month. You were off for a whole month, too. And then we just came back to play our first game pads. Yeah. So, like, we got rhythm again. We've been clicking ever since then. Since the Ravens game last, when we played them, the Northman game and then this game, we're kind of feeling a really good groove, and I feel like we're a team to beat right now. What do you think, Dex? Are you guys ready if you for the Hitmen if you guys get another, another chance with them? No, we're ready for anybody. At this point, we're rolling pretty good. I mean, I feel like we're, we're ready for anybody. And we weren't there for Hitman. Yeah, we weren't oh. there for Hitman. Oh, you guys didn't play for that they game? Both weren't there, yeah. Oh, wow. There, so that's, yeah. Were you guys here last year just out of curiosity? Uh, nope. This is my first year nope. playing some yeah. pro. First year at the, with, the, okay, with the Flyers? Yeah, I was with the uh, Blackhawks. So. You were with the Blackhawks. Yeah, okay. I mean, this team, I, you know, I don't know if you, maybe you can comment on it. I mean, you guys joined this team, and it's a complete 180 from a year ago, right? Yeah. I mean, they didn't win a game, a regular season game so, last year. A lot of that goes to Ish, the coach. He did phenomenal recruiting. He yeah. did phenomenal coaching. Like I said, he calls like the majority of the defense. He's got everyone locked in, the plays, everything like that. But it all starts with him. He started us off in the offseason. We had a, a preseason game against Brooklyn, uh, played against them. And he's been building there ever since. And this season, he's turned total 180 from last year. 
Well, guys, uh, one more week until the regular season, then you get the playoffs. I thank you so much for your time. 50 to nothing. I mean, I, 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 can't, I couldn't find a more dominant performance. Uh, this is absolutely incredible. And I, I, you guys are obviously heading in the right direction. you got to be happy with today's performance. Uh, James D. Benedetto, the quarterback. Dexter Barry, the wide receiver. Best of luck, you guys. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Yeah, okay, you bet. All right. Windsor Flyers will win this game 50 to nothing over the Connecticut Thundercats. That's going to do it from, for me from Rockville High School in Vernon, Connecticut. Drive home safely, everybody. Have a good night. Okay, so that's going to do it for me from Rockville High School in Vernon, Connecticut, Saturday, August 13th, 2022. James D. Benedetto, the quarterback for the Windsor Flyers, throws five touchdown passes, three of them to Dexter Berry. The Windsor Flyers, 50. The Connecticut Thundercats, zero. If you're watching on YouTube, please give a like and subscribe to see more games like this. Once again, the final score from Rockville High School in Vernon, Connecticut. The Windsor Flyers, 50, 5-0. And the Connecticut Thundercats, zero. Have a great day, everybody. Drive home safely. Thanks for watching. See you later.